making energy from waste. In Devon, most people are pretty good at using the three R's, but we still create a lot of rubbish. Householders make around 350,000 tonnes of it each year. Once it has been collected by your local council, where does it go? In the past, our waste was buried in huge holes in the ground, called landfill sites. But now, a lot of the waste which we don't recycle is taken to an energy recovery facility in Exeter. Here it is burnt to make energy, a process known as energy from waste, or EFW. On arrival at the plant, each lorry drives onto a weighbridge. It then reverses into the tipping hall and empties its waste into a large pit. 154 lorries arrive at the plant each week, tipping about 6.5 tonnes of rubbish each. An operator uses a crane grabber to mix the waste. The grabber is 2.35 metres high and can lift over one tonne of rubbish in its huge metal jaws. The crane operator lifts any large items into a shredder. Seeing all this rubbish every day really makes you think. You wouldn't believe the things we see. Perfectly good stuff that could easily be used again. The grabber lifts the waste into the hopper. From the hopper, the rubbish is pushed into the combustion chamber. The kiln inside slopes so that the burning waste slowly tumbles downwards. Oxygen is essential for combustion, so the kiln oscillates to mix the air into the burning rubbish. The combustion chamber operates at a minimum of 850 degrees centigrade, about the same temperature as lava from a volcano. Heat from the combustion chamber is used to boil water inside the boiler to make steam. The steam powers turbines in the generator to make electricity. In the control room, staff use computers to monitor how much electricity is being generated. Thick cables feed the electricity generated in the plant into the national grid, which supplies homes, schools and businesses all over the UK. The Exeter plant operates 24 hours a day, 7 days a week generating enough electricity to power 5,000 homes each year. Like any fire, the EFW process produces gases. These are cleaned using chemicals before passing through enormous filter bags, each 5 metres high, to remove any particles. The particles, known as fly ash, are emptied into a lorry and taken away to be treated and used to make carbon-neutral building blocks. After the gases have been thoroughly cleaned, they are safe to be released up the stack. On a cold day, you can see a white trail of predominantly water vapour coming out of its top. Just like a bonfire, the EFW process produces ash. The ash produced in the combustion chamber is called bottom ash. Iron and steel, known as ferrous metals, are removed from the bottom ash using a powerful electromagnet. Over 50 tonnes of ferrous metal are collected every month and sent to a recycling factory. Once the ferrous metal has been removed, a lorry takes the bottom ash away to be used as aggregate in making road surfaces. Monitoring is very important at every stage of the EFW process. The stack contains sensors linked to the computers which constantly monitor the gases being produced by the plant staff from the Environment Agency can ask to see this information at any time, night or day. Adrian has worked for the EFW plant in Exeter since it opened in 2014. When I tell them what I do, some people think I just work with rubbish, but it's so much more than that. It's more like running a power station really, squeezing the energy out of the waste that in the past would have just been dumped in a landfill site. We have to monitor every stage of the process keeping track of the kiln temperature and the composition of the gases emitted from the stack and making sure that the plant is running efficiently and safely. 
It's frustrating when we see materials coming in that could have been reused and recycled. It seems such a waste of resources to burn things which could be made into something new. But apart from that, it's a really interesting place to work.